Welcome to the Enter NFT podcast, your go-to hub for knowledge about NFTs, blockchain and crypto in general. We mix it up with your favorite Web3 artists and projects topped off with the latest news from the Enterverse. My name is Lovecraft and today's topic is a vitally important one. How to do your research before investing in cryptocurrencies. In this podcast, we take a closer look at one of the most widespread pieces of advice in crypto, DYOR. Where do you start and what metrics are worth keeping an eye on? Do your own research. This is what DYOR stands for. Within the crypto community, this phrase has become an empty platitude, although it's one of the greatest pieces of advice in crypto. It is something that prominent industry figures repeat to absolve themselves of any liabilities if a trader, having been encouraged to investing in cryptocurrency, loses significant sums of money. Do your own research, despite how often it may be misused or overused, thus emphasize several crucial truths about investing, especially in cryptocurrency. Before investing in any cryptocurrency, when you think of DYOR, think of yourself as a factory newbie who is about to operate a sophisticated, hazardous piece of machinery in the factory. DYOR is the user manual that will reduce the chances of getting hurt by the sophisticated, shark-infested waters of crypto. It is important to note that no amount of your research can help when the market goes through a turndown, meaning that understanding cycles is just as important as researching individual cryptocurrencies and platforms. That said, how do you know which cryptocurrencies to invest in? Here's a look at some important starting points for researching which cryptocurrencies are viable to invest in. This list is by no means exhaustive. The subject of DIYOR is inexhaustible. Neither are the points in any particular order. However, the points therein should serve as a good starting point for anyone looking to get involved with crypto. So then, how do you do your research before investing in cryptocurrencies? First of all, obtain reliable transaction and usage data for the specific coin or blockchain. A helpful analogy in cryptocurrency investing is that purchases of any coin or token are bets on its future value. In other words, if you're betting that a cryptocurrency and its blockchain, where applicable, will be significantly more prominent and valuable in the future, it is a good idea to find reliable evidence to support this bet. There are various sources of data that can help traders and or potential investors to determine whether a blockchain is growing. For example, Nansen, Messari, Chainalysis, Dune Analytics, as well as some other cryptocurrency research and investment firms produce regularly updated tables that track on-chain activity for various major blockchains and crypto platforms. They will often deliver graphics and tables that show that not everything is always as it appears. For example, a table can contain two columns for content. For example, a table can contain two columns for transaction volume data, transaction volume and adjusted transaction volume. Only one of these, the adjusted transaction volume, is significant since it was sifted to exclude spam transactions that don't involve transfers between real people. A similar rule of thumb applies to various other kinds of data you may want to measure. One table, for example, might include a real value column which focuses on the real trading volume of a given cryptocurrency on a prominent crypto exchange, while another chart may only include something that's called the real metric for trading volume and you need to be mindful when using other trading and transaction data sources that may be relying on unreliable or misleading numbers. Next, you should consider total value locked, the TVL. Aside from on-chain and exchange-based trading data, several other valuable pieces of information are available for blockchains to help you make the right decisions. One is the total value locked in the blockchain upon which the project is built, which indicates the value of the total amount of cryptocurrency staked or locked into all protocols based on a given blockchain, always concerning that blockchain. The higher this figure is, the more DeFi-related activity a blockchain sees, with Ethereum currently far ahead of the rest of the cryptocurrency ecosystem, including the DeFi Llama. The more activity a chain sees, the more useful or reliable it is, which makes it more likely to gain popularity and more investment, as more projects would be looking to build on this chain. On-chain and off-chain user numbers are another vital metric. 
The exact form this metric takes can vary from platform to platform, with pure cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum having active addresses and some gaming platforms having active users. A good source for valid address data for major cryptocurrencies is BitInfo charts, while you may need to explore data online for specific platforms. More often than not, specific projects put forward data and infographics on the size of the ecosystems. An example, how many apps are built or are building on their networks. What's vital to note about such data is that they are usually forward-looking in that some platforms can have hundreds or thousands of apps building on them without much actual use at the time of publishing because these apps are still in development. Still, when combined with evidence on whether actual use is growing, ecosystem counts can be a fairly good indicator of how recognized the platform may be in the future. You should also search out data on market liquidity. When doing your research, market data is associated with usage data. In particular, if you're looking for a new cryptocurrency to invest in, you need to check that it's listed on various reputable exchanges. You should also check whether such coins market is liquid. You can do that, for example, by checking its trading value on platforms like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko and whether the coin exhibits organic price or volume patterns. For the most significant coins such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Avalanche or Binance coin, there's going to be little doubt that most exchanges will list them. However, many newer and lesser known coins and tokens are often listed only on obscure trading platforms, making them highly illiquid and ripe for manipulation by unscrupulous big players. Such cryptocurrencies are detectable via the price data, which you can view on CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap or similar sites. Look out for reputable experts and developers. No, and I mean no analyst is an accurate predictor of what will happen in the future with the cryptocurrency. However, it is always worth paying attention to analysts who support their views with good fundamental and technical analysis and have decent enough track record. This means ignoring celebrities and influencers who do not have much substance behind their hype and consider the views of people who may have been in crypto for a long while and have the reputations on the line if they make a wrong forecast. This doesn't mean going solely on what an expert on analysis says, but using their pronouncement to narrow and direct your research. It is also worth paying attention to the developers behind blockchains, intelligent contracts and various platforms. They often shed a light for the layperson on the technical defects of particular protocols or chains, helping you understand whether a hype network is or isn't all it has been made out to be. Understand market cycles. Finally, you should understand that you cannot research your way out of market downturn or a full-blown bear market. Sometimes the entire market can nosedive, and it has been doing this for the last few months, as all of us know. So no amount of research can help you identify a cryptocurrency that will secure consistent returns in such a situation. You may have to wait out bear markets and see how things turn out. Alternatively, you may want to invest during bear markets to maximize profits when the bull market returns. Nonetheless, it is always worth continuing research to determine the coins you may want to invest in once the markets and macroeconomic conditions become more favorable for your investment. Social media is helpful when doing your own research. This part will depend on your preferred source, but if you want to have someone explain it to you simply, give the project a search on YouTube and see if any reputable channels have covered what it's all about. From there you might want to look up a project on Twitter to see if there has been any recent or significant developments. If you're still interested in this project, dive into Reddit or Facebook or Telegram groups for some community discussion on the project and its trajectory. A lack of discussion on a coin or project may be a red flag as most solid projects will have their diehard supporters. As you research, note down any doubts and ask any questions you might have and assess whether this is the type of a project your investment portfolio needs. Keep in mind that information in crypto is extremely time sensitive. So make sure every piece of information you gather is recent and you get a few different opinions. Final words, DYOR is a continuous process. The monitoring of a cryptocurrency project that you have added to your portfolio is a never ending process. 
Given how quickly things change in the world of crypto, you as an investor need to stay informed about things like projects, milestones, changes or additions to development teams, announcements and possible external threats from competing projects or changes in the regulatory environment. You also need to keep track of vulnerabilities in the tech, as hacks and thefts have become rampant in the industry. If you have invested in a lesser known cryptocurrency, Staying up to date on news and important announcements is key to understanding why price fluctuations occur and whether the coin you have invested in is going to pump or dip in the near future. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Enter NFT podcast. This content was taken from Enter.blog and we would like to thank guest author Shidera Anushiam for this contribution. If you like what we do, subscribe and make sure you leave us a stars or a review. And of course, help spread the word by recommending us to your friends. Follow Enter NFT on your favorite social media platform to stay on top of all things Enter. I'll see you next time. Yeah.